What up, YouTube? It's Misery Hates Company. In this video, I want to show you the best way and most efficient way to level up in Diablo Immortal. This game just dropped and it is so much fun. I am absolutely loving it. Even my wife has started playing it. She actually used to play WoW with me and she thinks this is a uh, mobile WoW. But she's definitely loving this game. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video so I can show you guys how to get to the end game because in my opinion, in any Diablo game I've ever played, I've always liked the end game the most. So let's get there the fastest and most efficient way possible. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you're in Diablo Immortal is just to do the main storyline. That's going to be the, the bread and butter for your leveling experience for a decent bit. Once you hit level 16, you will then unlock what is called the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass is a, there is a free option, which is at the very top. There's a paid option, which is at the bottom. The free option gives you a ton of experience. So that is what you're going to want to do because all of these different features are also going to net you bonus experience and these little uh, gold crystal orb things are battle pass points <clears throat> or battle points and that is how you get to max level of the battle pass and get to the next level so again you need 180 to get to this level so you get eight times two and there you go you get a whole bunch of different things just for doing things you would be doing anyway and you can double down and truly get it that much faster now I want to go ahead and talk about um, so you do unlock the battle pass at level 16 when your hit, character hits level 16 and while you're doing that you do want to make sure you're on the main storyline doing the battle pass challenges just as you need to and then you're going to hit a point several times in your leveling experience like i'm at right now so you see my character is level 34 and my main quest is reach level 35. there's several things it tells you to do and it's actually all three of these are very uh pertinent so bounties battle pass and elder rifts all of these net you a lot of experience, but there's actually a fourth option they don't even tell you, which is a little surprising, actually. So I would actually prioritize bounties, and I'll show you what they are. We're going to walk over here. So when you click on the bounty board, you'll see that I've already done all eight of my bounties. They're very, very easy, and you do get, um, when you complete four, you get some gold, and then at eight, you can get more gold, So, which is fantastic. So you just get free stuff for basically killing mobs. The bounty board does not take long. I don't know how much it changes every day, um, because all of mine were basically just like kill X amount of mobs or open like 10 of these certain things at a certain part of the world. You basically click on the bounty. It teleports you to wherever that situation is or the bounty needs to be accomplished and then you just do it it's, it takes no time at all like less than five minutes per bounty so this is easily something you want to do every single day to make sure you're getting the most experience every day or just general uh, currency because you do get gold like I said um, but want to make sure you're definitely doing your bounties every single day after that like we've already talked about the battle pass is a great option as well um, you get lots of experience through here and you can see that some of these items will actually net you um, a higher chance so this is bonus set and legendary drops the dungeon has an increase this dungeon has an increased uh, chance to drop legendaries and set equipment hell one plus difficulty this week so i'm obviously not doing hell one because i'm not at that level yet in the game you do unlock hell difficulty once you beat the game um, the first time and you get to max level so keep that in mind as well but let's go ahead so these are all the different things you can do and you can actually as you see there's so much more there's ra uh what is that raids rapids uh heliquary uh legacy of the hort harem um destructions and there's so many things that you get unlock at different levels different raids and um and different dungeons you can do which is just really very exciting and of course i've already completed my bounties for the day so you do actually get to double dip on the bounties ones one tip that i would recommend that is going to save you a ton of experience in the very 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 later part of your level experience when you're at like 50 to 60 is that you're going to notice once you complete one of these so once i let's say do a challenge rift it's going to give me this currency and you can you can actually not claim it you can actually hold off on claiming it the experience you get for ranking up is linear so I'm only on let what level 34 once I get to 59 this experience would be easily doubled so I it's in my best interest to not rank up the battle pass itself as fast as possible but do these challenges as much as I can and then not claim them that way once we get um, to a kind of a stuck point like 51 or 55 then you can just knock out all of these saved challenges and then just get a whole bunch of levels from it because you're going to be getting more experience so it's an easy way of saving again the battle points and then just boosting the battle pass towards the end of your leveling experience because like i said there's actually a, a several things you can do in order to uh, get a lot of experience 
Now, the other two ways that we talk about, um, one of which is right here, which is the Elder Rifts. The other one is not shown here, and we'll talk about that in a second. So make sure you watch this video to the very end. So Elder Rifts are actually not too far away from where I am at right now. Um, you just want to walk over here, get to this big old circle thing right here, and boom. These are called um, Elder Rifts. You can power them up with a modifier, either a rare crest or a legendary crest. Um, each of them will net you, I mean, just different currency and or a legendary gem, which is definitely going to be something you're going to want. Now, it also nets you a bunch of experience. So um, just for beating it, you get experience, which is fantastic. So there's really a dual reason that you're going to want to do your Elder Rifts. This is something you can do with a party or by yourself. It's a lot of fun. And this is really like the bread and butter of the game. So in addition to that, you do get a ton of experience for the Elder Rifter, but there is one thing that you could do and you should do that actually nets you more experience than the Elder Rift and the game doesn't even tell you it, which is kind of blows my mind. And that's if we go over here to the Codex and that's going to be the different um, dungeons. So the dungeons themselves will net you a ton of experience and it actually will net you more of the battle points. So here we have the challenge rift um, doesn't actually get me any, which is the one that we just did. So this one is doubled for right now. So it's eight and then times two, but then this this other one is 15, but the experience you get from killing people or killing the, the demons inside of the elder rift and the dungeon is actually more in the dungeon. So you're getting literally one point more currently for doing an elder rift, but the King's Breach or any of the dungeons for that matter are faster to, to accomplish and net you more experience. So if you want to level up faster, grind your dungeons as much as possible, get a group that would be a lot faster to do it, honestly, and it's going to net you the most experience. And that way you can get through some of these leveling crunches where you have to level up to a certain point. That is easily the biggest tip I want you to take away from this is that focus on the main quest line first. Second, you want to do your bounties every day. Third, you want to make sure you do your um, events for the battle pass, but then don't claim them, save them. So that way, when you do get to a higher level, you can just boost your battle pass very, very quickly and get a ton of experience. Last but not least, I want you to focus on your dungeons over the Elder Rifts. Last thing I want to mention is similar when you're when you get to a certain point, I want to say it's in the 40s, almost 50s, you're going to be able to do what's called a shadow contract once a day. It does give you a bunch of ex experience. I'm not at that point yet, so I can't show you. I might make a YouTube short when I get to that point just to showcase it for you. But that's in addition to basically one of the things you should do for your dailies. It's only one doesn't take long and it knocks it out. You can knock it out very, very quickly. Ultimately, this is going to be the fastest way. If you do all these things in that order, will net you the most experience the most quickly and have you at max level in no time. Now, I hope you like this video. If you did, smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know what you want to see in Diablo Immortal. And if you're interested in trying a different game, I do also cover Marvel Future Revolution, which is very similar to this game, which I have several videos on my, my profile. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video and lock it in.